said, I have fought the good fight. Okay? And that's the job of a soldier to fight. Fight for who? For Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right? And Lord willing, that's what we're going to be doing in these times to come if we're the hope to elect. <laughs> forges on and um, doesn't let anything get in his way no matter what it may be he has a mission and in that mission he has to make sure that he completes that mission to the best of his ability now if you want to get examples of soldiers well one only needs to look at Yahweh Shai first and foremost and pretty much he soldiered up and did what he had to do, no matter what. And there was no one that was going to stand in his way of accomplishing the mission that the Heavenly Father sent them on. Because that's what a soldier does, you know. He looks in the, at the battlefield, he chooses his strategy, and he goes and executes that strategy on the battlefield. And no matter how solitary that, that uh, mission might be, he still forges on, even if he has to do the job himself. Like the Apostle Paul spoke, and he said, at my first call, no man stood with me, but I stood by myself, but the Lord was with me. You know? So although... At one point, Paul was all alone by himself as a soldier. He still had the mission in mind. He still had that strategy in mind. And he knew that no matter what, nothing was going to be able to divert him from the truth. That's why he said, you know, nothing would, would stand in his way. You know, no, no, nobody could conquer his spirit and nobody could deter him from his mission as a soldier.
So the point is, in this truth, you have to have that same mentality of a soldier on a mission to do, act, and finish the work that the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, gave us to do. And the only way you can do that is first and foremost, if the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is with you and you're part of the elect, and by getting into your mind that this is the, the mission at hand and I have to finish it, you know, and I have to do what the Lord told me to do because the Lord gave me a post to deal with and I have to deal with that post and I have to finish that post or finish that course because that's what was given uh, me to do and that's what a soldier does you know whatever situation he's faced with he's not deterred from his mission and that mission for us that are in the truth is to teach the word and finish the word and follow the lamb with us wherever he goeth until our mission as a soldier is finished we are soldiers Shalom, shalom. Call all Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Akakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone, Wu Well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect and much respect to the brothers. Pushing this word in the four corners of the globe. This is Brother Ariar coming at you with a quick little lesson. And what I showed you there was like a documentary that uh, the brothers from GMS did, man. It was powerful, man. Talking about being a soldier for the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai. Right, so I just wanted to go into you know a couple of precepts, and that'll be it. And Lord willing, this is edifying, man. I'm gonna start here in Romans 7, I'm gonna read 14 to 24, and it reads, For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, soul under sin. For that which I do, I allow not, for what I would, that, that do I not. But what I hate that I do, if then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that is good. Now then, it is more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. For I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me. But how to perform that which is good I find not. For the good that I would I do not, but the evil which I would not that I do. Now, if I do that I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of the heavenly Father after the inward man. But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Right? You know, so a big part of this truth is warring against yourself, man. You are your biggest enemy in this truth, man. Okay? And it takes a true, a true soldier to get through that moment by moment, day by day, man. Because you're constantly tried, you know. And it takes a true soldier to get through that, man. And that's what this scripture is talking about, man. It's talking about warring against your own flesh, man. Right? We're not, a, we're not just at war with Esau. We're just not a, a, at war with the other nations. We're not just... At variance and at war with the two thirds, we at war with ourselves, man. You know, and it takes a true soldier to buckle down and get through it, man. Okay. I'm gonna go to uh, 
I'm going to go to 2 Timothy. I'm try to make this quick. Uh, second chapter. I'm going to start at 3. And it reads, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier, man. Okay? So our main objective is to please the Heavenly Father, man. He's the one who has chosen us to be a soldier. Yahweh Yahweh Shai, man. Right? I'm going to read 8. I'm going to read 8 through uh, 12. Remember that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, wherein I suffer, I suffer trouble as an evildoer, evil even unto bonds. But the word of the Most High is not bound. Therefore I will endure, endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in the anointed Yahweh Shai with eternal glory. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us, man. Okay? And a big another big part of this truth is suffering, man. Alright? And you gotta endure all things that are brought upon you, man. Okay? And if you do so, then you have the characteristics of a true soldier, man. Because a, a true soldier endures all things. No matter what predicament he's put in. No matter what's brought across him. No matter, you know, no matter what uh, obstacles he may have to face. A true soldier is going to get through him, man. He's not going to cry about it. You know, he's not going to complain about it, man. He's just gonna he's just gonna do it, right? And in this truth, we gotta have that same mentality, man. We just gotta say, you know what? No matter what I'm facing, I'm just gonna go through it, man. I'm gonna buckle down, I'm gonna go through it, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna do it, man. You know? So I'm gonna go to my last precept here. Lord willing, this is edifying. Go to Ecclesiasticus. book of Sirach, chapter 2, and I'm going to read 1 through 5. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in the time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be in increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient without our change to a lower state for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity okay and that all speaks for itself man you know you know we soldiers if we if we gonna be soldiers for the heavenly father in your house shy man you gotta be tough you gotta be willing to endure anything man okay there's going to be a lot of things that we're going to have to face. But you just got to put your head down and go through it, man, and get through it, man. So if bad things come upon you, take it cheerfully, man, because that just lets you know that's the chastening of the Most High. And that's Him shaping and molding you and testing you. Okay? So, Lord willing, this uh, lesson, this quick lesson was edifying. And I know that that video that I played at the beginning was very edifying, okay? And Lord willing, uh, these scriptures that I brought out was edifying as well. Shalom.